In these problems, we are multiplying binomials, and uh, the only thing that might be a little unusual is that instead of just one variable and a number, each binomial has two variables. So in this problem, we have x, x's and w's. Uh, it doesn't really change the method by which we multiply binomials. We're still going to use this FOIL method, multiply the first, and then the outside, then the inside, then the last, and then add together any like terms that we can. So let me show you how that works with these problems. The first term of each of these binomials is 3x, so we're going to multiply that. 3x times 3x, well, you multiply the 3s together, that's 9, and the x's together, that's x squared. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Now we multiply the outside terms. That's a 3x times an 8w. The 3 times the 8 part is 24. And the x times the w part, we just write as xw, or wx. Now we go to the inside terms. That's a negative 2w and a negative, a negative 3x. So uh, that's a negative 6 for the number part, and another xw. And then finally, the last terms, negative 2w and a positive 8w. The negative 2 times 8 is a negative 16 and the w times the w is a w squared. All right, so now we do have some like terms we can combine here, a positive 24 xw and a negative 6 xw. So that's gonna be an 18. And you know you can write this as xw or wx. I guess I'm gonna write it as wx because usually people like to write them in alphabetical order when you have a, a choice. So I'm gonna do that. And then we have our 9x squared and we have our minus 16 w squared. All right, let's try one more. The first terms here are 5x and 8x, so 5 times 8 is 40, and the x times x is x squared. Our outside terms, 5x times a negative y, so that's a negative 5xy inside terms negative 3y times 8x that's a negative 24 xy and our last terms a negative 3y and a negative y it's a negative times a negative that's going to be a positive 3y squared and then these two terms we can combine so our final answer is going to be 40 x squared minus 29 xy plus 3 y squared. So that's a little work with multiplying binomials that have two variables.